In this video, I am going to uh, tell you about what happens when you have many planets in the 8th house. Okay. So let's we start and if you want to take personal consultation, you can check the website and you can also join my WhatsApp channel and follow me on Instagram. Okay. So let's get started. So now if you have many planets in the 8th house, okay, then what happens? See 8th house is a very mysterious house. 8th house shows about your past, past lives. What was your past life about? And the planets placed here play a very important role. This is a very mysterious house, okay? It holds lots of mysteries, lots of overthinking. That's why it's the house of occult mysticism. So uh, this house represents everything that is away from the materialistic world, away from the uh, marketplace everything uh, that is very different or away from the daily world okay so that is why graveyard and uh, night time and all the lonely places can be ruled by your uh, eighth house and also the backyard okay so all these sorts of things so it is a very mysterious house if you have here uh, more than one planet or even if you have one planet then also it will influence but not that much but if you have like more than one planet two planets three planets some people have four planets here so it will influence your personality in a, a very huge manner okay uh, so first of all why you have got so many planets in the eighth house surely there must be some past life connection with this so yes definitely there is it clearly shows in the past life also you had that type of eighth house personality okay and uh, you have carried uh, forward that personality where uh, you were a very mysterious person in the past and in this life also you will carry that trait of uh, being mysterious okay and uh, this also clearly shows that you don't belong to the world or you don't get along with most of the people around you because now you have a very mysterious otherworldly energy 8th and 12th both shows otherworldly energy so you will not get along with people so even if you will have friends they will be someone having that 8th house effect someone who can understand you a deep thinker someone who is also away from this materialistic uh, world or people okay people in general so this thing will happen because it shows it can also show that you are a soul from a different realm and you usually don't take birth on the planet earth so this is also possible and uh, it also shows uh, in the past life you uh, were doing any kind of uh, research practices or occult practices sometimes you can also under uh, feel that no one understands you or no one feels you no one belongs to you you feel very lonely or uh, even if you want to share ideas with anyone you are not able to share because you feel like no one understands you or people around you are very different and it becomes very hard for you to find people like you eighth house also has saturn effect so uh, that coldness people can feel you are very cold person or very less expressive or very mysterious person and it will become very hard for people to understand you because most of the time they will not understand what is going on in your mind or what you are thinking or what is your personality even your parents your family will not understand your personality like they will see a completely different personality of you than you originally are okay because you hide and you keep most of the things hidden from other people and that is you should do if you go to reveal things to people and it's then it's not going to work out for you okay so that is why always be what your energy is okay if you try to become someone else 
then it will not work out for you if you have many planets in the eighth house you carry eighth house so much energy of eighth house and now if you go and become social if you try to become social then it will not work out for you and you will attract negativity in your life so it's important for you to be with people with whom you can feel better or uh, it's better to be lonely than to be with wrong people so don't try to do something in which you have to like uh, go social okay if you do it then you will not feel happy this is an important thing and do not share everything about you to people now here it does not mean that you will lie okay you don't have to tell everything to strangers okay you don't have to tell everything to the people uh, people who don't matter to you but yes if you are going to get married to someone you need to be honest with them with the people you are dealing with you have to be honest with them you cannot manipulate you cannot lie otherwise that is kind of cheating okay so you need to be very careful where you need to reveal where you don't need to reveal like seventh lord in the eighth house you don't have to reveal about your relationship to people if you reveal about it then it can spoil your relationship as you can catch evil eye so keep your relationships hidden right and like 10th lord is in the 8th you don't have to tell to everyone what is your work what you do how much you earn you don't have to tell everyone and tell everything to people i have my 10th lord in scorpio i never tell uh, to the people around me what i do i i just say and i do like whatever i just say anything but i never tell uh, that i do astrology only to people who are close to me i tell otherwise i don't tell to people what i do because uh, generally i'm not comfortable with it telling to people i'm not comfortable uh, so naturally you see that eight uh, house scorpio energy is coming into me now here Uh, even if the planets are in the eighth house or in the Scorpio, this thing will be applicable. So you see, the eighth house uh, Scorpio energy is so high here, right? So that is why when you have that Scorpio energy, eighth house energy, very intense in you, and you go and reveal uh, it to the people. then you yourself will not feel happy first of all because that is not your energy you are going against your energy and then you will invite negativity so that is why when we do something that is against our chart then we don't feel comfortable we don't get success and we are not able to attract positivity mental stress and all of that thing can happen so that's the thing you need to do okay and uh, many planets in the 8th house also shows that you can do very very great in occult and mysticism you can become a very good researcher so you should do it and if your 10th lord is here then you should not worry about your career okay if you worry about your career then you will not get success just keep doing your hard work okay it's very important thing here because eighth sign scorpio sign and uh, eighth house is a sign of overthinking deeply analyzing right so that's the reason and uh, i have my 10th lord in scorpio so that is why i uh, i never worry about my career when i too much worry about my job my wealth then it doesn't work out for me but when i stop worrying when i just let go when i'm just going with the flow and doing my work then everything becomes very smooth so with eighth house and scorpio if you too much overthink overanalyze then in that case 
you will obstruct the progress when you let go when you go with the flow then you will attract positivity that's why rahu is debilitated here because the obsessive energy of rahu is so much intense okay it is so much intense that it's not able to let go it holds on to that conclusion that outcome and then problem starts because it's holding on to that outcome that this only should happen and then there is the problem because you are not able to attract the good things in your life you are not able to think positive and you are not able to let go so there is one karma that is attached with eighth house is letting go eighth house in scorpio sign let go when you let go then see how the magic will happen in your life trust me it will happen you just don't have to care what will happen you just have to go with the flow and see where uh, this river is taking you the river of life so if you worry if you overthink then see how you attract negativity in your life and then how the things become so uh, much negative okay so this only you need to do with this placement and i'm saying according to my experience because i feel the same and i felt the same with this scorpio because the intensity is very high this is the most intense sign you know uh, the scorpio sign the 8th house is very very intense rahu it is very much connected to rahu people say it's connected to ketu but it is also connected to rahu because of the intensity it is so intense it's a fixed sign okay obsessive sign this uh, scorpio sign is actually obsession and it is very intense so sometimes this intensity is good but holding on to the outcome that this only should happen when every universe is not al- getting aligned with your desire when things are going against you but still getting attached to that outcome will create a mess in your life so this also is a lesson you need to learn here okay and uh, then you will start getting good results so one one thing also uh, it shows that in the past life you were a very deep thinker or obsessive intense person that is why you have got it here and now you have to bring some improvement in your personality so uh the only thing the most important thing here is if you have more planets in the 8th house or in the scorpio sign or rahu here or jupiter here because these are expansive planets is expand so uh, in this case you should not try to be very much social not try to share about your life in social media this is a very important thing don't share anything about your private life in social media you will come in problem don't share don't tell about your life in social media okay don't do it this is the important thing i never share about my personal life in social media and i'm never ever going to do it although i just have one planet here but then also the energy is high so i never share about my personal life who i am and what is going on in my personal life so it's not necessary similarly if you have more planets here do not do it otherwise you will come in problem okay especially about your career you, if it is connected with scorpio or 8th house don't share 7th house it's connected don't share about your marriage in uh, uh, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's like okay uh, sometimes uh, if you want to share with your friends that's okay but don't overdo it okay you don't have to overdo like all the time you are just sharing about your private life and showing all your private moments you are going here doing that so please be careful and you don't have to be much social right otherwise it's uh, it can reduce your confidence level as well 
okay and also as mars rules the scorpio sign the 8th house so uh, you can also be a very good risk taker you are a risk taker especially if you have retrograde planets here you are a risk taker and you can take risk it's not it's really not hard for you to take risk so you are a risk taker right and uh, you you can take risk so it's a very positive sign because many people are not able to take risk and taking risk is very important to attract uh, something new in your life otherwise you will also fall the old pattern so you are a very different person from pe person from other people you have a very different personality and that is what is very very good because everyone should not be the same right so you have the power the potential to bring changes in the society to bring changes in the thought patterns of people to do something different so you should utilize your good quality to do something for yourself for the people so uh, it's a very good thing and everything has positive and negative impact but it's not very negative but yes uh, many ups and downs transformations or uh, like many events um, many tragedies can occur in your life which can make a very huge impact and also it shows that uh, even little little events they make huge impact on your mind on your soul right even little uh, small small events so you are a very very sensitive person very sensitive you are because you are a overthinker you may not show it to people you will show everything is normal everything is good but that's not the case you are very emotional you are very very sensitive person eighth house is the sign is the water house right and scorpio is a water sign so you are a very emotional and sensitive person so try to keep yourself mentally happy emotionally happy because chances of getting depressed is very high because you are a very sensitive soul so you need to take care of your emotional and mental health if you are facing any problem in your life then uh, it can be because you are a sensitive soul and you are uh, trying to mix with other energies which is impossible for you you will not be able to do that okay now if you uh, get a partner who is very different from you and uh, you are getting along very well with that person and that person is very social then that's okay you will be able to uh, get along with the other people as well but alone you should not do it right but th these things we have to see from your chart so you are a very sensitive soul and very kind hearted soul you are because you are different of course but you don't have to be manipulative you you yes you should become secretive but where you need to speak the truth uh, where you need to follow your dharma there you need to do it okay and little little things will make huge impact on your mind little even a small event can hurt you so much that you will not be able to forget it for many days so little bit you need to like focus on your soul health your emotional health so that you can become a positive person listen to spiritual talks spiritual guidance and something positive that can give you guidance so that you can uh, become emotionally strong because somewhat you can be emotionally weak and you will not show it to people you only will know that it's in my heart you will not show it because you don't have habit to show so you should like uh, uh, try to uh, read or listen to spiritual talks okay spiritual guidance it will help you a lot there are many available on youtube so if you do that it's very helpful and learn to let go this is your soul lesson learn to let go learn to surrender because you think so much so much intensely that even you are not able to attract good things so learn to let go learn to surrender all the things will become positive in your life learn to let go just let it go right 
so i hope this video was helpful may god bless you may god fulfill your wishes and desires bye bye